So this is a sales training on inbound closing. Uh, the number one thing that I want you to know is like I know inbound closing is sold to a lot of people and it's like, you know, super sexy in this and it can make you lots of money. This is a life changing opportunity. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of work and you got to be on the ball and you got to be good. Uh, I would say, you know, 20 percent of all the closers are actually going to be super highly motivated, uh, very proactive and actually hitting their goals uh, and can create, you know, millions of dollars for themselves on a commission. Uh, it means that 80 percent, though, um, are going to fall to the wayside, are going to have a hard struggle and it's going to be an uphill climb. There's still money here because we're in sales. That's literally where the money is. That's where the money exchanges hands. And if you're in the middle there, you get your cut. But I'm going to try and teach you the best way that I can. So I set you up for success. OK. All right. The first job of an inbound closer is to have the people show up to the call. OK. I know inbound closing, you think, oh, I don't have to do anything. I just have to answer. I just have to show up to the call. That is like that's the bare minimum. The bare minimum is you have to show up to the fucking call, right? You don't you have to show up when you don't like to. You have to show up when you got choppy internet. You have to show up when you had a shit day. You have to show up when your girlfriend breaks up with you. You have to show up when you would rather be eating some sort of food. You do have to show up. But before that, the pregame is you have to make sure that they want to show up. All right, you're, you're not just battling with other people's, their time, right? You're battling with their job, their family, TikTok, YouTube, whatever else they could be watching. Uh, you're, you're battling with all those things just to get them to show up to the call, okay? So in a perfect world, if you are commander of your calendar and we, and we as a business are booking calls, sales calls, opportunities for you, it is a privilege for you to talk to these people on behalf of the business, number one. But number two, you have to make them show up. Okay, so the, in a perfect world, okay, I, I'd be a hypocrite if I told you that I do this all the time, but when I really want to change my life, I really want to make a lot of money, I have to go above and beyond. This is exactly what I do. As soon as they book a call on my calendar, I call them right away. Okay, as soon as I see it, I call them. And I literally say, hey, this is Robert uh, with Credit Leverage X. Looks like you booked a call with me on Friday at 2.30. Is that still the best time to get in contact and talk to you? And they're going to say, oh, yeah, for sure. And I'm going to say, is there any questions uh, that I could help you with now or anything that you have on your mind uh, that you're thinking about right now that I can maybe do for you? And they're probably going to tell you a bunch of stuff, right? Or they're going to say, no, I'm in traffic or no, I'm busy at the moment, but I'll be there on Friday. And I say, okay, great. If anything changes, uh, please let me know. Okay. And then, but also you got to think about the psychology of this. Okay. So they saw an advertisement or they saw one of our videos or they got an email. They took the time to book a call with you. And then you call them right away. They're still going to be thinking about their dreams, their aspirations, what's in it for them. And you can really start a great relationship that way. Being proactive, being super friendly, being curious. A big thing about sales is curiosity genuinely curious in the other person and helping them get where they want to go. That's what you're going to get paid for. Okay. So perfect world. As soon as they book a call on your calendar, you call them within, you know, 30 minutes, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, you call them, you, and then you text them and you say, Hey, it looks like we have a call booked on my calendar at this time. Da -da -da. Please reply back to me to make sure that that's still going to be the best time to work. Otherwise I look forward to talking with you soon. Okay. And then, so that's like, you, you got to make them show up to the call and the way to get them to show up to the call is to hold them accountable and make sure that they're serious about the sales call. Next step is the day before the call. I would really like you to text all the people that are going to be on the call tomorrow. I'll be like, Hey, it looks like we have a call at two o'clock tomorrow. Uh, is that still going to work for you? Please reply. Uh, this, this is a life changing opportunity and we have a lot of people that are really interested in this program. So if you do not reply, I will think that you're not going to be able to make it. Uh, please let me know. Okay. Then the morning of you text them again, you say, Hey, this is whatever your name is with credit leverage X. We have a call today at one o'clock. Just want to make sure that's still going to work for you. If anything else changes, just let me know. Okay. And then you finally get to the point where you're actually going to do the sales call. Okay. And it, this hasn't taken a lot of work. You've just done a lot of thumb hustling. I mean, if you're really pro, you can even do a little research on these people, but I'm, I'm trying to book you solid with, with like six calls a day plus. So the, there's the, the, if you feel like it, do it, be pro, you're, you're a badass. I, I believe in you, uh, but you don't have to do all that. Anyways, now you're going to get to the point 
you, you've, you've basically, you called them, you've texted them the day before, you've texted them the morning of, and they've replied at least one of those times back to you that they're going to show up to the call. If you haven't gotten anything from them, um, I, w- I might just like write down their number uh, on a piece of paper and delete it off your calendar and let somebody else, because you have to think about this as well. There's an opportunity cost. If you, if somebody is on your calendar that's unqualified uh, or is just a fucking time suck, waste of time, a tire kicker, and you have your calendar maxed out, uh, then somebody who might be better qualified is missing and can't book a time with you. Okay, so this is very important. If, if you look at their application and they say, no, I'm broke, uh, they're just shopping around, any other red flags, like a lot of the times, even their name and like the if they have a weird looking area code, you can kind of be a little judgy and it's okay. But it's, it's because you're, you're not being, not everyone's going to be your perfect ideal customer. And when you start to actually talk to people that are like perfect customers, you want more of those people because they actually had a conversation with you. They actually have the buying opportunity. They probably closed a big fat deal. You probably might be able to close more fat deals with them, their friends, uh, referrals, everything else. Okay. So you really want to be very picky with your time because your time is very valuable as well. That's something else I want you to know about. Like every sales call, sales can be super sexy in the beginning. Uh, but the truth is it's a art. Okay. And, and it, it takes long hours and it's, uh, pain in the ass, <laughs> but it pays well. Okay. And it has lots of opportunity and you can really become a master of psychology and understanding what people need as well as changing lives. Here's something really big. I'd like you to think about. We do not close people. Uh, for us, we close people for them. We are literally going to change these people's lives. So a lot of the time, uh, you're going to have to push them and, and be that animal when it comes down to the close. Okay. Be an animal when it comes to the clothes. Uh, but for most of the conversation, I just want you to be genuinely interested in the other person. That's pretty much like, I want you to ask them questions, understand them. If they feel understood, they're more likely to buy from you. Okay. So I'm getting ahead of myself. You've sent the text, you've gotten on the call. Okay. Either it's a zoom call or a phone call. If they don't show up to the zoom call, you call them right away. Okay. If they don't answer, you wait two, three minutes, five minutes, you call them again. Typically, they will answer the second time or they've ghosted you. Okay, and now we've gotten to finally we get to break the ice. Okay, there's three ways to break the ice with a prospect. Number one is you're a hard ass. Okay, being a hard ass does set uh, the tone. It's professional. uh, But nowadays with the buying market, it doesn't work as well as it used to. But the hard ass is basically, uh, hello, you know, whatever their name is. My name is Robert Lyon. Uh, The way that this call is typically going to go is at the end of the call, I need you to be able to say either yes or no. Okay. If, if there's, if it's either, it's either going to be yes or no, can you make that decision with me today on the call? And they're either going to say maybe, and you're going to say, I can't do maybes. Uh, I basically need to have a confirmation that you would like to work with us or that you don't want to work with us. And you're not going to hurt my feeling. It's just the reason that we do this is because our time is very important and we are changing lives and the conversation that we're about to have is going to need your full attention. Uh, And I just really want to make sure that at the end of this call, you're able to make a decision. Is there any reason that you will not be able to make a decision at the end of this call? And they're going to say, oh, I might have talked to my wife or my business partner or whatever. And you're going to you're going to tell them, "Okay, well, then can we get them on the call? Can we reschedule and get them on the call? Okay, so that's number one. That's the hard ass. That's the hard ass. Uh, I used to work really well. Nowadays, it kind of puts people off and I, I don't, I don't do that as much, but if you're tired of all the tire kickers and you want to be, go hard ass, do it. Hard ass still works. Cause then at the end you can say, Hey, remember at the beginning of the call where I said, you have to give me a yes or a no. Well, we finally gotten to that point. Now that I've clearly told you everything about our business, uh, are you interested in moving forward? And they're going to say, Oh, I have to think about it. And I said, Nope, we have to get a yes or a no. They're going to say, okay, then yes. Boom, boom, boom. Take their money. Run. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the second one uh, is the the reminder. Okay. We're, I really like this one. It's really just us getting uh, an in-depth conversation started. Okay. And you, and you remind them and be like, hey, you booked a call with us. This call is about getting you funding. And I want to, uh, basically, I'm wondering, you know, like, what made you book a call with us? And they're going to say, oh, I booked a call with you today because I really want to get funding so I can start my food truck or so I can scale my cement company or, or so I can 
uh, start my e-commerce business or so I can get my record label started, right? And then you're going to start digging into their pain points about why that's important to them. How much money do they need to get that? How long have they been working on that business and that dream and that aspiration? And then the third one is basically, and the third one is really good, but it's basically just going over their goals, okay? And then you basically, it's kind of the same thing as the second one, but it's like, uh, you know, I really like to think uh, with the end in mind for these calls. Um, so, you know, I in an ideal situation, uh, if we were able to get you all this funding, uh, what's your life going to look like? You know, what are your goals? What are you doing this for? And that's a good conversation to have. That's a good way to start a conversation, okay? Um, so it goes introduction, right? You're just going to say, hey, this is Robert with Credit Lever Jex. Uh, we help com- we help people increase increase their credit score, get access to funding, and create multiple streams of income. What made you book a call today? That's kind of what I my go to has been. The second one again, the first one is you know be the hard ass. You can say, hey, this is Robert Lyon with Credit Lever Jex. Uh, this I don't know if you've been on many sales calls like this before. I don't know if you don't ever say sales calls because the, 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 I don't know if you've ever been on a call like this before. Uh, but basically, I don't really care if you buy our program or you don't. But at the end of the call. I am going to need you to commit to either telling me, yes, I want to move forward. I want to get funding. I want to work with your business or no, uh, I'm going to go back to what I've been doing and I'm not interested. Is that something that you'll be able to do with me? And obviously you're going to put them on the spot. You're going to be applying a little bit of pressure. They're going to get understand like this call is a serious call. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And then the other one uh, that I like is basically, hey, I really like to start with the end in mind. Um, So what are your goals? What are you really trying to get? And I really want to see if I can help you get there. Uh, They're going to tell you about them. And the main thing with this whole sales call is getting to the root of why they need more money, why this is going to change their life, why they want to buy and why they want to work with us. Okay, so now that you have a flow of how the beginning is going to start, uh, I do want you to try and break the ice a little bit with people, get them out of their shell. Because like when they first get on a call, they're usually like, oh, what is this? Who, Who are we? And uh, the way that I've been really, really breaking the ice is I, I've been saying, hey, this is Robert Lyon with Credit Lever Jex. Uh, you booked a call with us. Uh, this call is very important, and I'm going to need your full attention because it has the potential of changing your life. Do I have your attention? And then they're going to say, oh, yeah, you have my attention. And you're going to say, okay, great. Uh, basically, what we do is we help people increase their credit score so that they can get access to other people's money so that they can create multiple streams of income. So I'm just curious, what made you book a call with us today? Right. So now you have their attention. Now they understand that this is something that's really important to us. Uh, And the next thing that I want you to do is I basically want you to find out what the funding is going to be used for. Right. What do they need funding for? What is their end goal? Okay. Uh, Because we want to sell them the result. We don't really want to sell them the process. That's that's the biggest problem that I'm having on my sales calls is I, I give them too much goddamn information. We need to sell them on the result and that we are the vehicle to get them there, to get them to their dream. We're going to get them there faster. We're going to get them there uh, for cheaper. We're going to get them access to the money and we're going to do it the correct way because we have the secret skills, the secret sauce. Okay. But we want to sell them the results. So that's the thing that I want you to get to. Uh, The next things that, that are really important to this call. Okay. You can ask them how much money. How much funding are you going to need for this venture? How much are you trying to get to? What's the exact amount? And you're then, I also like to ask them, uh, well, you know, great. What's going on with your credit? Where's your credit at right now? According to the little app that you filled out, it says that it's between like 600 and 700. Uh, which one is it closer to? Because what we need to do is we need to get your credit to at least 650, 680 before we start the funding process. So what's going on with your credit? Uh, what's your financial situation looking like right now as well? Is a great question because then you can actually figure out how much money they have before you have to keep spending more time with it. If they, if they basically say, oh, yeah, I'm unemployed and I eat crayons, you know, you can just hang up at that point and you can move on to the next call. OK, but find out their credit uh, and we are financial gurus, so it's OK for us to ask them about their money, about what they're doing for work right now. OK, but the main thing is, is like, uh, you know, what's what is their goal? What are they getting funding for? And a big a good line that I like to say is the biggest disservice I could do for you uh, is get you access to, you know, $100,000 and then you not have a plan, okay? Because then you're just going to fall into the credit trap and, and I'm looking to change people's lives for the better, not not have people fall into the credit trap. So uh, what are you looking to get this money for? What's your plan? Put them on the spot because if they don't have a plan, I don't really want to work with them because they haven't thought it through. They're not actively searching for our offer, uh, blah, 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 blah. The next step, a question I like to ask is, 
Okay, great. So what's kind of stopping you from doing this on your own? Have you tried to do this in the past? Or that, well, that's two questions. What's stopping you from doing this on your own? They're going to be like, whoa, like this person is like actually worried about us. And he's going to say, oh, well, I don't know what to do to fix my credit. Or I've tried in the past to fix my credit and I'm just too busy. Or I've tried to go and get these loans and this funding and the funding has never worked out for me. I always get denied. And you're going to say, yeah, that happens to a lot of people before they work with us. Uh, we're experts in the field and we're going to guarantee we'll get you at least $50,000. Our goal is going to be a hundred thousand, uh, for something like this, but we guarantee 50,000 and we're going to do this by doing boom, 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 boom. Okay. Make sure they realize that they can't do it on their own. Make sure that they realize like what's stopping you from doing this on your own. And they're going to say, Oh, well, I could do it on my own. It's just going to take me a long time. And then we say, okay, well, we can definitely get it done for you a lot faster uh, you know, how long would it take you on your own to save up $50,000 right now? <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, oh, fuck, my whole life. I will never be able to save up that much money. And then you're going to say, okay, well, in our program, we're going to guarantee that we'll get you at least $50,000. We'll shoot uh, for 90 days would be our goal. But realistically, it's probably going to be between 90 days and six months. Uh, but still, you're going to be able to get to that point where you have a high credit score and at least, you know, fifty to $150,000 at 0% interest. You know, that still sounds like something you're interested in. And they're going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and then the next things that I kind of do is just kind of like more in interrogating and figuring out what they do. OK. Um, and then I also I, I like to ask a, a, the spouse objection up front, which is uh, if they say, OK, I'm trying to get 100,000 and be like, yeah, does your does your spouse support you in, in helping you get uh, to 100, $100,000 so that you can start your food truck or whatever their goal is? And they're going to say, oh, yeah, my spouse uh, definitely supports me that we want to do better for our kids or whatever, or I actually want to get this money and start this business so I can impress my spouse more. Okay. So then you're handling the spouse objection because then if at the end of the call, you're trying to get them to, to give you 5,000 bucks or whatever, uh, and they're like, Oh, I got to talk to my wife. And then you can bring it up and be like, Hey, but you know, didn't we just talk a minute ago and you said that your wife does agree with you on this adventure. So don't you think she's going to be uh, cool with it? And then they're probably going to be like, oh, yeah, but if I don't tell her, she'll kill me. And we'll say, OK, cool. Well, can we hop on a call together at this time? X, Y, Z, whatever. We haven't gotten to the close yet. So basically, you've, in, you've asked them the questions, right? And the other question I like to ask is, where are you? Where in the country are you? Because when, when, when we get to like nail down where they are in the country, we can start to make a picture of what it would look like getting them the funding in their area, right? And that, that's a very good way to draw the picture, OK? But we want to find out what the funding is for, how much money they have why they can't do it on their own. Uh, does their spouse support them and their family support them in doing this as, a, as an adventure? Uh, and then, you know, basically like what their life would look like if we get them access to $100,000 or whatever it is. And then they're going to basically say, and then you're, what, what you do is you get all those answers, right? And then you repeat it back to them. This is key. You repeat it back to them. Be like, okay, uh, so the plan is we're going to get you $100,000 at 0% interest so that you can take this money and start your food truck business. Uh, and that's going to basically lead to you and your family and your wife uh, being able to be together more and really live a great life. Does that sound about right? And they're going to say, oh, yeah. And you're going to say, OK, is there anything else that I really need to know? And they're going to say, oh, well, I also uh, want to start flipping real estate or whatever it is. And you say, well, this is what we're going to focus on right now. But I love real estate as well. We can teach you that inside the course. Uh, and then you're going to go into what the program is. Okay. And the program is, uh, we're going to help you increase your credit score. And I want to, I want you to tell them that we're going to increase your credit score fast as fuck, you know, in like 45 to 90 days, 45 to 60 days, we're going to boost your credit score. Like nobody's business. We're going to jack it up and uh, set, set it realistic expectations, but make it seem like that's why they really need to work with us. Cause we're going to do it the right way. And we're going to do it as fast as humanly possible. Okay. We're going to fix your credit score. Uh, fixing your credit score, we're going to get it to at least a 650 or a 680. Uh, and then we're going to start the funding process. The funding process uh, happens uh, in about 30 days. We have a 30 day window where we're going to get you maximum amount of funding using the Credit Leverage X funding system. Okay, don't go too far into detail. Credit Leverage X funding system in 30 days, we're going to get you the maximum amount of funding and we're going to shoot to get you as much as we can at 0% interest. Okay. Uh, and we're going to also during that time, help you set up a business. And at the end of it, 
You're going to have money and we're also going to coach you on how to start your business the right way, how to scale your business the right way and how to start buying assets and create multiple streams of income. Okay. Now the thing that I've noticed on a lot of sales calls is when I start to talk to and coach them about multiple streams of income or scaling their business or starting businesses, it gets washed out. Okay. It gets a little, a little watered down uh, for the right people. You can go into detail on how we do that because that's really what I'm good at. Uh, but for the most part, we are the gateway drug to get them the funding and they can't do it without us. Okay. There's that you're never going to get, you're not going to be able to get this funding. You're not going to be able to get access to $50,000, $100,000 without working with us. Okay. And then you're going to say, does that make sense? And basically we'll get you the funding so that you can do X, Y, Z, whatever their goal was. Does that make sense? And they're going to say, oh yeah. And then you're going to say, okay, now all I have left to do is talk about price. Is that okay with you? And they're going to say, oh yeah, you know, there's, of course there's going to be a price. And you're going to say, okay, the program uh, is $5,000 uh, to get started, but that includes a guaranteed of $50,000 that we're going to get you. You know, and then you just shut up. You let you, they're going to say something. Okay. And then you're going to say, okay, I understand. Uh, but is there an amount that you would be comfortable putting down right now to get started? Put it back on them because then they're going to tell you whatever they'd be willing to put down if they have a thousand bucks, if they have two thousand bucks, whatever it is. And then you can set them up on a payment plan. I'm really leaving it up to you, whatever you can negotiate with them, but you only get paid on the cash that they put down. So the more cash that they pay up front, the more you get paid. That's the incentive. Okay. But you, if they only have 500 bucks, you can take 500 bucks uh, and set them up on a payment plan for 500 bucks a month or 300 bucks a month, whatever you, whatever you're comfortable with. Obviously we need to get paid more up front. Uh, and then the payments on the back end is just to keep the business alive. Um, and then I want you to know this, this is something you can put in your back pocket. Uh, we can essentially let people in for, uh, 1500 bucks up front or 1500 bucks on payments. And then they pay us 10% from the funding. Okay. A lot of people like that offer. Uh, we do need money up front though, to start their file. So you got to make that and they got to put some skin in the game. Otherwise, you know, we're just, we're just out here wasting time basically because you're not going to get paid uh until the back end but 1500 down uh 10 percent of the funding so if we get them a hundred thousand dollars though they're going to pay us ten thousand dollars that's why five thousand dollars up front is a good deal they're going to save some money okay or we can do whatever they can put down and pay us the rest from the funding that we get them seven percent five percent whatever you want to negotiate okay uh and this is a very very powerful thing they're also going to get tons of financial education. They're going to uh, learn how to fix their own credit on their own, but we're going to fix their credit for them. We're going to do the funding for them. These are services that we're really going to do with these people. And we are going to give them coaching. You know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do a live coaching call for everybody in the program about saving money, making money, real estate investing, crypto, you know, anything that we're, we're really making money on, we're going to share that with people. But it's all about getting access to other people's money, investing it right. And I'm going to also teach people how to make a business that will thousand X their investments. Okay. So this is all really, really real world shit. Uh, but it all starts with fixing your credit and getting funding. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my sales training. Uh, there's a bunch of other courses and stuff. That's the inbound sales call though. Okay. And I have a script that breaks this down even further. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please reach out to me if you have any questions. I know this was a lot for one sitting. Uh, so just digest this. Think about how you're going to start selling this. Because you are the gatekeeper. You can change these people's lives. And remember, you're not going to be closing for you. You're closing for them. So that they have a shot to get access to money that they never would have had to actually start that dream so that they can stop being stuck and stop being where they are right now and get ahead in life. You're the gatekeeper. You have to you clearly articulate that to them and change their lives. All right. I'll talk to you in the next one.